morning. I am in Queen Square. Right, so then that's how it is. I suppose you'd call it Holborn. This is Great Ormond Street. Home of the world famous Children's Hospital. And I'm just going to have a little look around these streets. Around about 25 past 7. Early in the morning as usual. Just to have a look about. The Italian Hospital. That's what that used to be. You see there, it says a Great Ormond Street Hospital for Sight and Sound, but at the top, up there, it says the Italian Hospital. Built in 1884. Rebuilt 1898. Splendid looking building. Almond Close. Not much to see down there, folks. What is this street I've just come into? Boswell Street. Yeah, so this is Boswell Street, off of the south side of Queen Square. Not much down there, I don't know, let's have a look for here. There's not much around these streets, it's a lot of residential streets. Yeah, not much to see really. So walking down there, we come to Theobald Road, closer to the centre of Holborn, so I don't want to stray too far from Queen Square. Let's walk down this little street, Gage Street, here yeah, look, Borough of Holborn, that says on that sign, it doesn't even exist anymore, the Borough of Holborn. That's an old sign. So this is bringing me out onto old Gloucester Street. Just seen this sign, it just made me laugh. Who's that? <laughs> Looks like a YouTube channel. Who's that? I'm putting that sign on there. So 
yeah, not much to see there. I'm walking, I'm walking away from the square, so I'm going to walk back up to the square. It's basically just to show you the square and all the little side roads that come off of it. But this is old Gloucester Street. Artwork on the side of this building. The October Gallery. What is this little alleyway? leads to another little back street. We can't get in there, the door's unlocked. But it said gate must be kept locked. So I'm assuming it's private. British Monomarks, established 1925. Mary Ward Centre. So we're coming back up into Queen Square now. Look at this. St George the Martyr Parochial Schools. That's the boys' entrance. <laughs> Says there, uh, school for 200 boys, 1877. Then we're back to the south side of the square where we started the walk. That's the front of the Mary Ward Centre there, and that's the Italian hospital, or well, it was the Italian hospital. Let's walk north up the square. Midtown London Church. You just can hardly see it really, it's tucked away, so close to the trees, behind the trees, you don't even know it's there. Cosmo Place. Couple of little pubs down here, the Queen's Larder and the Swan. And look at that, there's a Marco Pierre White restaurant. And this is going to bring us out onto Woburn Place, which is near Russell Square. Or is it Southampton Row at this point? Not sure. Actually, I think it is Southampton Row. And that's Russell Square up there. Look 
Let's get back to Queen Square. Dodgy little stairwell. And we're back onto Queen Square. Road works as usual. The Queen's Larder. The earliest official reference to the tavern, now known as the Queen's Larder, is contained in a deed, a deed drawn up in 1710 when Sir Nathaniel Curzon let the house to a London stationer named Matthew Allen. There you go. I'm not going to read the rest. And that building there obviously wasn't built in 1710. <laughs> the one next to it looks like it is though. Well, I don't know about that, it looks at least Georgian, I think. Architecture's not my, my strong point. The Art Workers Guild. What a lovely old building that is. Most of the buildings, well at least on the other side of the square, uh, are hospitals in this area. Children's hospitals, neurological hospitals. Um, yeah, there's a few different hospitals here. As you can see this is the Wellcome Trust Highfield MR Research Laboratory. Queen Square Imaging Centre grand building and this is the centre of Queen Square which is locked at the moment because it's still early That one here, the UCL Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience. As I said, it's all uh, neurological hospitals and facilities. That is Queen Square there in all its glory in the autumn morning. This looks like the back of somewhere <laughs> what on earth is that well 
I know what it is, but why is it not covered up? Private gardens, nice little well kept garden. And another little alleyway here leading out of the square. As I was saying, leading out of the square, which has which has no name at all. So that's taking you up to Russell Square there, and that's a President Hotel. Nothing really to see here. Just see a sign here, this made me laugh. Please do not occupy this area. So back into the square yet again. The Royal Institute of Public Health. Queen Court, looks like private residences there. Institute of Neurology. Let's let this biker through. Even though I'm sure he's not meant to be coming up here because that's a pedestrian walkway. But who cares? And this is Queen Anne's Walk. Not much to say down there. That big red brick building there, that's the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery. Or as most people call it, the National Hospital. Oh, the gate's just been opened to the park. I'll just have a quick look in here. Not that there's probably that much to see. And there's something just around the other side there, a statue of a lady, I'm going to have a little look. Oh, this reminds me of when I was a kid. We used to have these little drinking fountains all over the place. The 
if you heard that over the biker. plaque's been taken off of that, so you can't tell who that is. Got a crown on her head though. Oh well. Robin, look how close it, how close you can get to it. All right, so this is Lord Wolfson of Marylebone, businessman and philanthropist. It's crazy. Them eyes look right at you. Right, I think that's all for the square, in the gardens anyway. I'll have a look round the other side, the south side, and we'll just see. Really, in the main square at this end, it's just these hospital buildings, there's just not much to see, in all honesty. So yeah, I'll just... Uh, Walk to the bottom of the square and just see what's there. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Tiny little statue of a cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, tiny little statue. Oh, that's it. I think that concludes the walk for now. Well, I am sort of back where I started. He's a kipping on the bench there. Yeah, and we're back to the homeopathic hospital, and that's Great Ormond Street. This is where I started. Sorry. Just going to have a look at this Midtown Church, see if I can get it in perspective from a little further away. It's just there's all trees in the way. I mean, I'm not saying trees are a bad thing, but you can barely see that building there. That's it, end of.